so I know on this channel I don't talk much about my personal life or my day-to-day -day activities or really anything other than food, but to be completely open and transparent with you peeps, I'm just not feeling it this week. I got a million things going on at once, the world just kind of sucks at the moment, and I thought very strongly about just taking a week off. Instead, I thought, why not just pick a nice, simple, delicious looking recipe that might lift my spirits a little bit, and I think Rie's Strawberry Shortcake fits the bill the best. This recipe came out a couple weeks ago now, I am always more than delighted to do anything by the Queen Rie. And after last week, I feel like this will be the perfect contrast to that disaster. So let's get right into this one. So there's really not too much to this recipe. You have to make the cake, and then just a homemade whipped cream to top it all off. And to make those components, I grabbed some sugar and some cake flour, heavy cream and whole milk, some honey and vanilla extract, four eggs, a ton of strawberries, and some unsalted butter. And you know what else? Instead of listing all the repetitive prep steps for this, let's just talk on a personal level and you guys can watch along as I work. I do hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy and safe in this crazy world we live in right now. Uh, I'm happy that quarantine is finally coming to an end. I can get a proper haircut and I have to rely on my ratchet self. I'm also so happy with how many of you have been redoing some of the recipes I've shown on the channel to get yourselves through quarantine. It just warms my heart every single time. But now that our pan is decked out with parchment paper, our strawberries are cut up, our butter and milk are warmed together, and our eggs are brought down to room temperature, we can start to throw everything together that is going to make up our cake batter. Now there's a couple interesting things about this. Number one, most of this is gonna to come together while in a warm water bath. I don't know exactly what the purpose of this is. I assume it's to allow the eggs to whip up a little bit easier since you want room temperature eggs to start with. Um, also, there's no leavening in this besides your eggs. There's no baking soda, there's no baking powder. So you really have to stay patient, whip your eggs completely because it's really not gonna rise at all in the oven. I also just love how little flour and butter and all these ingredients we have to add to this. It's only about 100 grams of cake flour. When you sift it out, it's almost nothing. That's why all Rie's desserts are so light and airy and delicate. Unlike American desserts where you just eat pounds of chocolate and sugar and it sits in your stomach like a cinder block. I very carefully folded all of my ingredients together. Once you pour it into your cake pan, make sure to drop it on your counter a few times just to get out any huge bubbles. And then I baked it at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for about 33 to 35 minutes. If I'm being honest with myself, this came out a little bit more flat than I would have expected. Now could I redo this recipe with a smaller pan? Yes. Could I make another batch in the same pan and have two layers of this thickness? Also yes. But as I mentioned, I'm not in the mood this week, so we're just gonna plow right along. I sliced this already very thin cake into two even layers. I set it aside to cool completely and then whipped up my whipped cream. This was made up of 500 grams of heavy cream, 75 grams of sugar, and a tablespoon of vanilla. I tried to do it by hand like Rie does. I don't know how she does it without her arm falling off. Literally using this hand mixer on high speed took me over 10 minutes, so God knows how long it took Rie to do this with a whisk. All we have to do now is layer up all of our ingredients, our first layer of cake, some whipped cream, and our sliced strawberries. This is the first time I've ever tried to frost an entire cake with whipped cream, and honestly, it's a lot harder, it's much more delicate, it's harder to cover every single patch. And as with every other cake, you can sit here for hours trying to get this perfectly smooth and flat. You gotta give yourself a five minute time limit or something because if you don't, you'll just go on forever. I top mine off with some more strawberries and the rest of my whipped cream in a piping bag. This smells so delicious, like the greatest bakery. I think I've just been deprived of very simple things for very long. But no more, because now I get to try this. As usual, in the 30 seconds between the last shot and right now, my whipped cream tower has fallen over. I don't know, I just had a flashback of when I used a churro to brush my hair, but I did. <laughs> this smells like an even better version 
of those uh, strawberry shortcake cups you get in the store. Honestly, it smells like a ladyfinger too, strangely. Mm. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna sit here in silence and enjoy this. <laughs> This is just everything I want in a dessert. It's super tasty, it's very light. You don't feel awful about yourself for eating the entire thing. It's not overly sweet. As if any of you out there are shocked, this is perfect. Rie has done it once again. There's really nothing left to say. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave me a big old like. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you don't already. Huge shout out to everybody who's been subbing over on Patreon, everyone who's been there, and all you newcomers. I got so much love for you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Other than that, have a fantastic weekend. I will see you right back here next time. Peace. And my money super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my 18 Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision